Yo, 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 guys, what is up? My name is Cryback, and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft playthrough. So, um, today, as we planned, we will be venturing into the nether. As you guys see, I cannot open the door. We do have our little portal over there. So, we will be traveling into the nether today so that is one of our main goals for today first things first guys we are going to make ourselves some golden boots so the mobs in the nether don't attack us so we got ourselves some golden boots we will be equipping them for when we are going into the nether so right now i'm gonna put this gold actually no we're gonna grab this gold because i'm sure we are going to be trading with this gold i will also <laughs> take this gold block as well and just convert it into gold so we have some spare amount of gold here as well now we do have our infinity bow um we do have an iron sword and our iron pickaxe and i honestly think that we're ready to venture over into the nether so without further ado i am going to leave my cat here because i don't want him to burn in the nether we are also gonna yeah actually no we do have a fence and seal we are going to venture into the depths of the nether. Goodbye to everyone. Oh my god, guys. We are in. And holy crap. If I took one more step in that direction, I think... I think I might have died. Oh god, there's a ghast. Uh, hello, buddy. Hello, hello, yes. Okay. Okay, we just need to time this if I know how to time it because I am a knob. I am a knob at timing these. I just want to hit him with this. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, no. No, I'm not. Oh god, there's another one. Alright, alright, we got this one. Why? Why is it so hard to time this? Bruh, my guy doesn't even have eyes and he can see us from that far away. I should have brought some cobblestone, I guess. But what we want to do is we want to find the guys that do trade stuff. So I need to get up. Pretty much. Alright guys, we are down. I went the other direction because in that direction there is pretty much nothing. So I have our gold ingots and I believe... We have found ourselves a trader, so let's give him some gold and let's see what he gives us because we have a lot of gold to give. So, yeah, pretty excited to see why. Oh, we got some ender pearls. That's very good. That is pretty good. Oh, some blackstone. Come on, keep trading with us. I know you want my gold. I know you want my gold, buddy. What did he give us now? Some string, I'm guessing. We want to get some enchanted book, or we want to get soul, um, the soul enchantment on the shoes. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's Soul Strider. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna keep trading with him and see what we get. You know, at the end of all this, hopefully we get something pretty good. So yeah. I'll uh, keep you guys updated and see if we find anything cool from this guy. Alright guys, we got some crying obsidian from this guy, which is actually pretty cool. So, I actually haven't ever gotten the crying obsidian. I'm gonna have to find out what crying obsidian actually does. Maybe it does something I do not know, or if it's just a decorational block. But yeah, I'm uh, keep on going and keep you guys informed. Alright guys, we're down at our last nine ingots. So... I've got myself some potions of fire resistance, which is actually decent. Now, he did give us some string, but I'm not sure if I really need that. We also got some black stone, some nether brick, some obsidian, some crying obsidian, some soul sand, fire charges, and leather. So I'm honestly trying to get ender pearls or the soul speed uh, boots. I think it's soul speed, I can't remember the exact name of the enchantment. But hopefully, we wasted a good 42 um, ingots, I think, so hopefully um, it was worth it, you know. Fire uh, resistance potions are always nice, but we do need to find another fortress in order to actually get blaze rods. So yeah, that's a bit unlucky. And this is our last ingot right now, so let's see. 
if he gives us somewhat anything decent. Now, I will collect these potions since, you know, potions good. And he didn't. But we did get a decent amount of leather and stuff. Now, we could actually mine all this gold if we really wanted to. But I, right now, I'm not really interested in, in it. So, like, I mean... Yeah, but what we can do is I can try grab more gold out of my house, try to trade a bit more, and we'll come back. Oh god, I nearly fell, and we'll see what's popping with these guys. Guys, we have managed to get ourselves some Soul Speed 2 boots. Epic. Absolutely epic, and we're getting attacked by a ghast as well, which is pretty funny. But yeah, we got ourselves some Soul Speed 2 boots, which is actually pretty good. We will as well, guys, grab ourselves some Glowstone, as Glowstone Dust, I'm pretty sure we need for making potions and stuff, so let me just grab a good amount of this as well. Alright guys, we are back home, and this skeleton is gonna burn himself to death. So let's just wait for that to happen, because he likes to torture himself. Very cool. Very, very cool. Now, also, guys, we did complete all these goals. So, make farm for animals. We did make a farm for food. So, this is probably going to be one of our next objectives. But we can take these two off right now. And I need to put all the stuff back that I have acquired from these guys into these chests. So, let me just check if I have enough space. We have 11 crying obsidian. Not sure what the difference is. I just saw the difference is that it lights up. So it doesn't look like much of a difference, but it looks pretty cool as well. And we got ourselves some enchanted iron boots with soul speed, which is also a very, very nice. We got ourselves some four potions of fire resistance as well. We got ourselves a lot of leather and a lot of spectral arrows. Um, also, we have a stack and a bit of string as well. Which is um, pretty good, so I will be going back to the nether whenever we need to just get new stuff. We also, I did just drop my axe, I thought it was my sword. So guys, um, I'm going to actually make the farm now for our crops and stuff. Now this, everything of, like this is pretty nice, but I just want something a lot bigger so we can get more wheat and stuff. So I'm gonna take some crops out. We have some uh, wheat seeds, we have some carrots, we can also make some melon seeds, I'm pretty sure we can make pumpkin as well. So we're just gonna grab a good amount of this because honestly having a farm is pretty cool and I also want to automate it but I'm actually not sure how to do that so you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments down below how to do that sort of thing. Alright, now I just need to grab some iron, and we need to make ourselves an iron hoe. I need some sticks. <laughs> Where are my sticks? There we go. I'm just gonna place it like so, and boom. We got ourselves an iron hoe. And the last thing we need, indeed, is a water bucket. Alright, I need to eat first before we venture off. I'll have our cat accompany... accompany us on this journey because um i'm thinking of just building a farm like out on this land over here since it's really empty and there's nothing really here so i'm gonna clean out these crops and yeah i'll see you guys after i finish this farm in this horrible rain And voila guys, okay, so we have our own 
personal farm. Now I hope to hear from you guys in the comments below if I can automate some of this or even all of it. Um, some shape or form I can always change how it looks but I want to keep the kind of natural element to it as I honestly think it looks really really nice. So let's, let's just get a perspective here from the tree and honestly it looks like a garden. It looks really really nice. I'm actually really proud of it. Also made kind of a road. Now what I was thinking of doing um, in my own free time or maybe in like one of the videos at the very start is time lapsing making these lampposts and paths to our certain uh, places in uh, which we have built. So we have our barn, farm, house and then our nether portal and then we have also our fishing dock all the way down there. Now I do want to make a path to the nether portal actually, so let's just make one really quickly. It's not too difficult to make honestly, you just need to connect the dots pretty much. So let me just do it like so. And beautiful. Nice! Honestly, I like the way the world is looking so far. So now we have our own personal farm so we don't need to worry about food anymore we also have our animals and speaking of our animals let's go visit our horse hello how are you doing and oh um no i need to feed you where's the wheat dog where's the wheat i think i left it in my house let me just check e yep Alright boys, who's hungry, huh? Who's hungry to make love? Yes. Alright. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, our objective for the next time I see you guys will probably be um, a mine. We'll probably be mining down, uh, down some diamonds, trying to get full diamond armor, full diamond stack. So I will try to do some of that in my own free time and some of it on video. But this was it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to smash that like button if you guys haven't already. And be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye and take care.